right, well, good morning. It's been a while. I don't know what a boat is anymore. Well, I don't know what a boat is. I don't know what a polycraft is. Um, we've not been out in this boat since the end of August when we went shark fishing. Crazy, really. Um, we're gonna try some wrecking today. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get out as far as we want to. Everything is safety related. We've got to make sure we're doing it safely. So, life jacket's gonna go on in a sec. I don't put them on when I launch because uh, mine's an auto. So if I get a wave over it, it will go off. But I will be putting it on now. We're going out a fair distance today, hopefully. Um, me and Will both have PLBs. Um, we've got radios, we've got chart plotters, we've got dry suits, which a lot of people don't know about. I say about the videos a lot, but they're really, really crucial. The dry suit will absolutely save your life. Right. I'm gonna get clipped up to this life jacket and uh, we'll get you underway. purposely a long drift so I could set up and we could work it out but I'm gonna run this one anyway um, just because I want to see where we go and then I can work out the drift from there so the tide at the moment is going towards the west um, and later on it'll be going towards the east so the tide's going towards the west at the moment uh, and uh, so that way you want to set obviously on the easterly side of the wreck so that you drift over it with the tide so yeah we'll see oh I cannot believe that that's two decent fish I've lost. And the, the gear's set, they're coming up nicely, I'm letting the rod do the work. And both times I've realised I think it's just bumped on the side of the boat where the rod's done that. And obviously that takes the shock out of the rod a little bit. And it puts the balance off and they're just pinging off. It almost sounds like a vibration down. So next time I get one on, I'm gonna keep the rod a little bit higher um, and not, not sort of rest it anywhere near the boat. So we're using a green uh, sidewinder today, a little sort of sand eel, scary eel. Uh, in six inch, I lost the first one I lost was on a four inch, and that is a six inch. Ah, oh, just checking the leader, making sure it's all clean. It is, it's fine. So that was a nice fish as well. That's probably a double. Well, he's still down there with his friends, so hopefully we'll catch him now. I've uh, set the drift line up the exact same again. They seem to be on the edge of this wreck, opposed to the middle. So we'll see how we go. But we are losing some tide now, so I really need to. Um, yeah, really need to get one in. It's a huge um, like passenger ship coming past us up there. That'll cause a swell in a few minutes. So Will's got a fish on. It's only a small one, we think. I'm just going to 
will come over here and make sure I can grab it when it comes up. Got three meters to this, so okay. it's very close. Right, yeah. Me. Oh, you're damn pouting. Oh well. I said I wanted a pouting. <laughs> no blank. <laughs> and it's a, yeah, it's a little white side wide today, guys. Wheels onto another fish. We've got this off the sand, which is interesting. We weren't even on the wreck. Good bullet, mate. It might be a small one. It'd be nice to get target. It? <laughs> get it up. Oh, it's a 10 pounder. <laughs> yeah, we didn't pay much attention there, did we? Go on, put it in. Little pollock, pollock. Little pollock. Ready? Hey, little pollock. Uh, Excellent. Sun. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Fish okay. on. We'll quickly show you guys. There's a little sidewinder again on the pollock. On the pollock. Right, third time lucky, guys. Third time lucky. As you can see, I've got, I'm on my knees now, so I can really try and keep this rod up. I should get this one. I'm going to ask Will very kindly yeah, in a no, minute right. to possibly be able to help me get this one in. Yeah. So I'm just letting the rod do the work. This should be a nice one. This will be a five, hopefully five, six pounder. Oh, no, let's see. I'm just letting the rod do the work there. When the rod goes, just I stop winding. Oh my God, if you, I wish there was a heart rate sensor on my heart now, so you can know how much my heart is going. This is third time, lucky. I've lost, the last two have come off, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. Woo! Hang on, guys. I think my mate's just radioed, so I'm going to give him a shout in a second. Come straight on this fish. Straight on this fish. Oh, yes, Will! Yeah! <laughs> well done, buddy. There we go, guys. Not a huge, huge fish, but a very nice one. Caught on a sidewinder green eel. That's, we're out a long way in this polycraft, guys, and we, we're wrecking like everyone else. Look at that hook hold on there. Fantastic. I'm going to get a nice photo of that one. Get us back on that wreck and get us fishing. Fantastic, really pleased with that one. Yeah, fish on. Fish on? Fish on. Yeah, another little one. So, Will's got a fish on behind me, guys. Probably just a pouting, but it's flat water soon, so the pouting will probably come out in four. I'm just dropping bow down, risking the broke up the biscuit. Yeah, there you go, picked up another one. Oh, he absolutely engulfed the sidewinder. Did guys. Barely even see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Actually, you can see. Lovely. Another one to add to the list. Well, I made it. Ooh, there. a slightly different drift for this. I'm just trying to really clip clip the edge of it. Um, it seems to be that I had quite a few fish just on the edge of it today. Uh, it's just a diff different, slightly different drift, just to see if it if it contains any any wreckage or not. Oh, here we go, fish on. Yeah, fish on, guys. There we go. Only a small one, I think, but fish on either the same. There we go. <laughs> I said I'm just going to try a different part of the wreck. Because um, I was curious, see what see what it sort of produced, and yeah, we got a fish on it. Probably the top 20 foot now. We'll see what the size of the fish it is. What it is? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, little pollock. Oh no, big pouting. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I said it might be a pouting, didn't I, guys? Um, yeah, never, never pouting. Just caught on that sidewinder eel. We get back down again because we're still actually over the wreck. Now, when you're dropping into the wreck, guys, as soon as it hits the the bottom, get it, get it off, get it, get it. Just lift the rod up high, gauge the gear, get the rod up high, start winding quickly. 
yeah, three or four turns up, and then then start your retrieve. Otherwise, you will snag if it stays down there for any length of time, especially if you've got a big tide. So straight up. There we go. And then I'll just slowly wind now. Pouting. Yeah, we are heading. We're getting sort of slack water now, guys. So. Um, Pouting will, will come on the feed a lot in, in uh, slack water. It's a bit dry without anything in it, isn't it? Oh, see, I'm eating it slowly, so. Oh, that was definitely. I'm. Um... Oh. Um, today for breakfast we have sliced chicken tikka. Coast Guard is uh, out, I believe. Um, um, yeah, slack water is a time to drink your water or your coffee or whatever and get some food down here. Um, yeah, the best time for it is slack water. So that's what we're doing. We're waiting for a bit more tide. So um, yeah, I'm just making, making some more lures, uh, making some more rigs up. Um, Got some rhubarb and custard sidewinders down there. They did us very well in the last uh, few weeks ago. Say a few weeks ago, probably about a month ago now. They were working really well, but I'm going to keep the um, super reel on because it's, quite, it's caught quite a few fish. We weighed that pollock and it was six pounds. So not bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. I thought it was a bit smaller than that. But we all bought some scales so we could actually check. Yeah, six pounds. It's all right. Right, so obviously it's slack water, we've just had our lunch, we've had a little drink. Um, what we're also going to do, um, while it's calm, is we're going to top up the fuel tank. If you're on a small boat, a sib, a small little boat like this, or even on another boat, and you, then you need to top up the fuel, do it either at slack water, and when it's calm, don't think, oh, there's enough in there. It gets rough, and then you've got to do it when it's rough. It's just, it's annoying, and you, it's unnecessary. If your weather's calm, and you've not got much to do, and you're just waiting for the fish to turn, try and do all the jobs now, opposed to later. So we're gonna top the fuel tank up, so we've got a nice, nice full, full tank, and hopefully we shouldn't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. We might just have to top it up with our little five litre one later. But um, yeah, just a little top tip. Right, guys, I don't know what you can see there. Um, got a nice pollock on here, really nice pollock. Put up a good little fight, still on there. Um, the weather's getting a bit touch and go now. There's just a security announcement for a gale force warning. So we went over to channel 62, but I couldn't quite make out what she was saying. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate because the fishing's really, really good, but we've got to be sensible because we're a long way out. So I'm just going to keep winding this in. Coming up now. I don't think it's going to be massive, massive fish. It has fought me all the way up. So if it is a bass, I wouldn't be too surprised. Oh, nice pollock. Are you dragging nice my way or are you good? It's a nice size pollock, mate. Oh, yes. Lovely stuff, mate. Hold on. <laughs> so, another decent sized pollock, guys. Absolutely annihilated it on that lure. Um, we'll probably do one more drift on this uh, and then um, probably have to slowly head in because the weather is picking up. But there's fish on it um, and it's still within our remit. So, we'll get a nice photo and uh, set up the drift once more. Right guys, so we're going to go and try some wrecks a little bit more inshore now. Um, this is about as far as I come uh, on this polycraft. Um, I won't enter the shipping lanes. Um, I will definitely go uh, into the first separation zone, but that's as far as I will ever go in this size boat. Um, just because they really can't see you out there. Uh, and if anything happens in this size, to be fair, even if you're in a Quicksilver 630 or something, and your engine goes, you're still going to be a bit buggered. But those vessels might be able to see you a bit more than this one. That's the only difference. Um, so yeah, we're going to we're going to slowly head in now. But we've got some wrecks to try. We've got a wreck about half a mile to the north of us. Uh, we're going to go and try another bigger wreck, which is another two miles uh, north as well. So we're going to slowly make our way in and see if we can pick up a couple more bonus fish. So I'm going to get this engine switched on. We've sorted out the sonar already, and we're going to go and try a different wreck uh, just to see whether we can pick up some more fish because it has gone a little bit quiet this wreck but we've been going over it and over it all day long so we have picked off a, a few fish from it so i'll see you there all right so we're on our second wreck now um just obviously and i'm unaware of what the drift's going to do i've anticipated what i think it's going to do but it it isn't doing that 
Um, so, but we'll do we'll do one proper drift, and then I can adjust it accordingly. Uh, and yeah, I'll make it make it a lot easier. There's some fish there. though. you see those little my arches there? That's fish. Fishy, fishy. There is fish on this wreck. I can see it now. It's actually, we hit a small little bit of it. Um, yeah, if we wind up slowly, we'll come and go and reset. That's a bit better. Right. Yeah, we've got to come. We've got to come more north of it. All right, second drift now. Much, much better drift line. This, as I say, the, the first one no, normally is just a tester, just to see what the wind and tide are doing together, and then you can correct it accordingly. We're in a lot shallower water here. Um, we're in about 20, even though we've only come half a mile north, we're in a lot shallower water. Uh, this wreck's a lot smaller as well. Not a lot on the sonar. It looks fantastic on relief shading, but there's not actually a lot on the sonar. But mate, over there's other fish as well. So they're definitely here. It's just a case of. Oh, here we go. There's a bit more wreck coming in now. A little bit more. Yeah, it's a, yeah actually. Yeah, that's a, that's, a bad, that's a bad bit of wreck. That lifts off 10 meters. That's better. I've got a, uh, a little white scary eel on. Uh, just to see. See if, see if it works. Different lures on their different days will will work accordingly different. Massive wreck actually. It really steps steps up. There's fish off the back end of it. I can see that on the sonar. Got fish on, and I think it might be a bass. It's fought me all the way up. I think this could be a bass. Yeah, very very spirited or a very big wrasse possibly. I'll be honest, I made that drift a bit too short. We, I, I stopped it a bit short and I didn't realise the tide had picked up as much as it had now. And uh, <laughs> straight into the wreck, wound a few turns and bite instantly. This will be, I'm really interested to see what this is. I think this could be a bass, guys, because it's fought me the whole way up. And it's really put up some spirited runs. I'm on a four inch white scary zeal on this one. So they really are taking all the colours today. Right, she's coming up, she's coming up. Oh, I think it's a pollock. Oh, it's a nice pollock. It's a bad one. Not a bad pollock at all. Are you good on your own? Yes! <laughs> there we go. There we go, guys. Another pollock. I really thought that was going to be a bass. It really fought me hard. And it's taken that white scary seal there. Fantastic. Excellent. We'll get a nice photo and we'll um, yeah, redo that drift. <laughs> Right guys, that was the first proper drift and we had a pollock straight away, so I'm going to drop down again, see if we can get a couple more. It's actually getting to that stage of the day now, it's only 12 o'clock, where I'm looking at the numbers of fish, because we're fishing in quite deep water, a lot. they'll all blow unfortunately. Um, luckily they've all been good edible sized fish really, um, that we might actually call it early, just, just because I don't, I don't want to kill any more fish, uh, I don't want to take particularly any more home. Um, that's the only problem we're wrecking when you're in deep water is they blow. A few ways to combat it, it's a bit of a slower wind. Uh, sometimes that works, but generally I've tried that on that last one and yeah, fortunately it's blown. So what will stop us from fishing today, which is amazing, is how many fish we're catching. Not the weather, not the time. It will just be that we've actually had our fair share and I don't want to catch any more. I would like to catch a double though. So we're just coming up to the wreck now. I can just see it on the sonar. So I'm dropping down till we hit the bottom. There we go, hit the bottom, nice gear. And then we just slow retrieve. Parts of this uh, wreck, the whole, have got really big structure. And some of it, barely any. So that bit, I've just gone over there. Just, you can barely see it. There's a, I think what happens is, obviously a bit's broken off. Um, the broken off bit's really small, and then uh, yeah, the main the main bit is a bit further. So I'm going to wind in slowly now, and then we'll go and reset our drift again. We're going at two knots now, so it's quite a quick drift, and it's a small tide. Here at Eastbourne, uh, the flood tide uh, is a lot stronger than the ebb, generally speaking, because it really pushes around beachy head. So yeah, always worth bearing that in mind if you're fishing around here. Yeah, fish on, fish on. Excellent, there you go. Hold on. Play, play that fish carefully, matey. Just let the rod do the work, take your time. 
Take your time. There you go, there we go. Woo, yes! So, wheels into a fish here, guys. Oh, I think that'll be a bit of a better one. That might be one of your better ones of the day. Already my favourite fish of the day. Wait, look at this fire. Look at Boom, that's a better one, isn't it? Gosh. Yeah, thank you, mate. It's all right. Right, so we're going to uh, go to a slightly more inshore wreck. It's about two miles away from here. Uh, we're going to do five, six drifts on that, and then we're going to head in. I'd love to stay out, but to be honest, we've caught our fair share of pollock. I think we've had 10, 11, 12 pollock. Um, now we've, we've kept only a couple of them obviously gone back, uh, but we've kept about eight just because we've had Seuss because obviously they're blown. And they're all going to get eaten, they're all going to get used. We've filleted them at sea as well. So obviously all the guts have gone back into the water for the crabs and the gulls, um, you know, and the dolphins. Oh, well, they probably there won't be eating guts, but you know, it's all being used. Glorious day on the Polycraft Tuffy. Out, out. Right, boys and girls, uh, thank you for joining us on another uh, mussel fishing adventure. Obviously, wouldn't be without my second-hand man here, Will. Um, what a day, what a day. I mean, look, we had no showstoppers, no monsters. Uh, the biggest pollock we had was just over six pounds, but we had a lot of them. Uh, the day was very consistent. Um, if we'd stayed out there for longer, we would have just caught more, but we didn't really want to keep, uh, keep killing more pollock, especially as numbers are a little bit low as well at the moment. So uh, we just wanted to get our fair share for the table uh, and friends and then head in. So obviously we launched at about seven o'clock and uh, we're, we're back in now for about half one. So yeah, what a fantastic day. We're going to um, get the uh, boat on the beach. We're going to get a tow bar attached uh, with a rope down to the boat. We're going to hoist it up, get the boat clean, get home. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Obviously, as you know, we do mad things on a small little three meter boat, but um, everything is all done with safety in mind. And uh, we're use, using our experience and skills that we've acquired over the thousands of hours we've been at sea. Have a great week and take care. Cheers.